Good morning. I decided to set a little farther back. <laughs> the farther away from me you get, the thinner I look. And also, <laughs> I looked at myself on some of these videos and I felt like smashing the camera. <laughs> anyway, so I'm sitting back today so you don't see all these little tweaks I have on my body. My uh, doctor calls them barnacles. He said when you get older, you get barnacles. <laughs> And you know what? I have a few. But anyway, with that said, who gives a toot? I mean, who really gives a toot, right? Anyway, I wanted to talk about this morning. You know, God's Word gives us an instruction for absolutely everything that we could deal with in life. There is an answer to it in the Bible. There really is. And I just want to mention a few of them today that are really pertinent and really important. He says, number one, is any sick among you? And this is what his instructions say. They should call for the elders of the church. They will lay hands on him, pray the prayer of faith, anoint him with oil, pray the prayer of faith, and they will be healed. It's really a pretty simple instruction. Now, I do want to say that many times the elders of the church can be someone like myself, you know, someone who is trained in the Word of God, who understands the power that God has. It's not the person who has the power. We don't have any power. But it's God working through us that gives us the power to be able to do that. So, okay, if you're sick and, and, and prayer isn't working for you when you ask, do what he says. Get someone say, could you lay hands on me and anoint me with oil? Pray the prayer of faith. And then your part is to believe you have received. So that's one of the very important uh, instructions he gives us. He gives us. He also says, he tells us even how to think. He says, whatever things are pure or lovely, if there be anything noble or praiseworthy, think on these things. So he tells us how to think even. Uh, and then there's just tons of places in there with my short little space here where he gives instructions for everything. If you have a need in your own life, he says to give to someone else. He says whatever good thing you do for others, he'll do for you. So if you need some good stuff in your life, you've got to start doing good stuff for others. There's so many places that God talks about this and the instructions are pretty clear. When you're in need of money, by golly, give money. And if you're not a tither, you're really missing the boat. And you know, everybody talks, oh, all they want is my money at church. Well, you know what? I don't know about the church, but I know what God's word says. He says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and see if I don't open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings such as you've never seen. So have you really tried that one? He, and this is the only place in the Bible, by the way, that he says, try me and see if I don't open the windows of heaven. Now, you're not going to go into the church one or two times and pay a 10% tithe and expect the windows of heaven to open on you. But I will guarantee you this. If you tithe faithfully over a period of time, the windows of heaven will open up over you. Now, you know, I have actually gone almost four minutes. I mean, I have so doggone much to say. And I should have done that tithe on a separate thing all by itself because I have some stories that you won't believe. And I'm going to tell those stories in the next couple of days. So be ready. You know, thank you so much for joining me every morning. I just love that. I got the sweetest letter from four girls the other day that blessed my socks off. And if you guys are out there, you know who you are. And I thank you so much for watching me every day. And I, I hope my words will bless you. And until tomorrow, this is Velma Hagar Restaino bidding you a blessed day. And you know, I think I do look thinner from a distance. <laughs> Bye.